Hey, how's it going everyone? Fomento here, back again for another video. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about the brand new Suicide Squad trailer, a trailer that I have really been looking forward to, and finally I have seen it. So, before I start rambling on about this really good trailer, um, I gotta kinda mention this, I am a little bit skeptical on what Warner Brothers and DC are trying to do with their film slate. I don't like the way Batman vs. Superman is looking. That last trailer I thought looked really meh. I didn't like how they showed them teaming up at the end. I think they really need to capitalize on Batman vs. Superman and not them teaming up, at least not yet. Um, we all know they're going to team up at the end of this film. We don't need to see that in the trailer. They really need to capitalize, like I mentioned before, on Batman vs. Superman. And showing Doomsday really didn't do good at all. I mean, I think he looks horrible for starters. The, the special effects look mediocre at best. Um, he doesn't even look like Doomsday. Anyway, I'm not going to start rambling on. I'm not going to start ranting. But I've been really skeptical. Always been on the outside looking in on what Warner Brothers is doing so far with their movies. But now I have some hope. I really do with this trailer. So first things first, Suicide Squad, directed by David Ayer. Um, I'm a big fan of David Ayer. I loved... Uh, end of Watch, Fury was really good. He's a great action director, and I think he's perfect for this fit. I've never been really looking forward to this film. I always had it in the back of my head just thinking, yeah, this is probably going to be a good movie. It's David Ayer. But, excuse me. But after watching this trailer, I got to say, I am on board. Um, so it starts out, Bohemian Rhapsody is playing by Queen, one of the greatest songs of all time, in my opinion. Um... Showing this prison block, showing some of the characters. We start off with Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang. Jai Courtney, um, not the biggest fan. I don't think anyone is the biggest fan, to be honest. Um, but I think he's going to shine in this role. I think this is uh, good casting. I think this is kind of what he needs for his career. He hasn't been cast very well in previous films. But, yeah, I think he's got a big shot on this one. I really do. Then we see Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Now, I've been, again, I've been kind of, I'm a skeptical person. I really am. I've been kind of skeptical on um, her look. I didn't like how her outfit looked and and i like margot robbie a lot i think she's a great actress but i wasn't i don't know like something wasn't right but this trailer really um made me think otherwise i really like the way she's portraying uh harley quinn this looks like harley quinn it really does the way she's acting the way she moves i love it i'm loving everything i'm seeing from margot robbie as harley quinn so far but then we see my favorite part about the entire trailer and that is will smith as Deadshot. We see him in his cell kind of looking out the window. He's got this troubled look in his eye. Um, I love his backstory. I love who this character is. Um, I was watching uh, Arrow CW series. Um, not the best series to be honest, but I love how they kind of portrayed his character and how they showed his backstory. And I really hope they touch on that in this film. Um, but yeah, I love Will Smith. He's a great actor. I know he's going to be in this movie a lot. Um, so yeah, it's really cool seeing him in there. And I love how when the Hive agents were like barging in he had his fist up like yeah let's go let's fight i like that i this film was uh this trailer was filled with really good shots and that was one of them it was a really fantastic shot because he just i don't know will smith is a great actor i think he's definitely gonna bring it into this role um then we see some of the other characters like enchantress which i i don't know too much about she has this aura around her i know she knows like spells and stuff so that's kind of cool um <clears throat> I thought the aura around here looked a little silly. I, I, I know they're probably still working on some of the special effects. This film doesn't come out till August. Still a little while away. We got plenty of time. They have plenty of time to touch up on some of their special effects. Um, we see El Diablo, which I really don't know too much about. Uh, again, um, looks cool. He's got tattoos all over him. He has fire powers. Cool. Let's burn some things, I guess. Um, Killer Croc. I forgot to mention Killer Croc, which I actually really like the look of him. I think they really... They had to kind of compromise a little bit for the big screen. They couldn't make him this, you know, like an actual alligator, you know, crocodile alligator, <laughs> crocodile character. He's called Killer Croc, not Killer Gator. Um, but I think he looks cool. I think he's definitely he looks menacing. He looks big. He looks like he can rip, you know, a car apart. And I want that to be Killer Croc. And that's cool. I really do. I, I you know, I'm come off from the Batman animated series and uh, the Arkham games as well. So seeing him in film, it's, it's kind of, it's nice. It really is. Seeing all these characters, it's really nice to see these characters on the big screen. I've never thought that we were ever going to see Harley Quinn on the big screen, or Deadshot for that matter. Um, so yeah, and then we see Waller kind of uh, talking to some, I don't know, some weird dude, um, explaining what the Suicide Squad is and kind of what their mission is. And basically, yeah, it's a suicide mission. And they're sending these, you know, basically people sentenced to death on a suicide mission, so if they die, who cares? And I think I think uh, Waller is probably one of the most evil 
uh, characters in the entire trailer, to be honest, because she's, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty sick. Um, so yeah, then they, uh, the Hive agents bring out all of the, the characters, and I love how they had to bag Captain Boomerang and, like, you know, throw him out. I like that. He's kind of like this wild animal. That's pretty funny. And then when he comes out, he just immediately sucker punched that guy. That was really cool. Um, getting some of the first lines from Harley Quinn. Really, really nice. Again, Harley Quinn, it, it feels like Harley Quinn. It's really, really nice to see that finally on screen. I think that's something that a lot of people have been waiting for, something that I've been waiting for. Um, again, I come off from the Batman animated series, so it's just really nice. It really is. Um, but then this trailer, as the, as the song Bohemian Rhapsody starts playing, and it slowly starts, I mean, if everyone knows Bohemian Rhapsody. If you don't, come on. Um, as it starts going on and on and on, it's like, wow, this trailer is going, it's like the buildup was so nice and so... Uh, satisfying because we're kind of de they develop the characters a little bit in the trailer and then it just kicks it into overdrive and really just shows some really high octane action. I love the action that they're showing. They have this helicopter flying over the city. I don't know what city that is. That might be. I don't think it's Gotham or Metropolis. Who knows? Um, just ripping up the streets. We see all kinds of explosions and crazy stuff. And I'm like, yep, yeah, this is why they got David Ayer to direct this film because this thing is going to have a lot of action. And David Ayer knows how to handle that. And I'm really happy that Warner Brothers got this, you know, acclaimed director for this film. Mm. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, awesome. Then we see Jared Leto as the Joker. He throws a few lines, very creepy. We see him laying down on his back with knives all around him. And I'm like, wow, that is the Joker if I've ever seen him. Um, very creepy, very sadistic. Um, obviously, you know, everyone coming off from The Dark Knight, seeing Heath Ledger. People are going to compare Jared Leto and, and Ledger, and it, it's understandable. It kind of happens in our head automatically. You're like, oh, it's kind of like, you know, Ledger's performance a little bit made me a little different. I don't necessarily see it that way. I think it, it, it's very, it's a very different, I think it's going to be a very different take. And as from, we, what we see from this trailer, it looks like he's a very more physical Joker. It looks like he's going to kick some ass. Um, and I like that. I really do. Um, I don't, and it's hard. It really is. I think it's just, it just, it's a matter of, portraying the character differently on every, you know, in every, you know, film adaptation. So, you know, Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, and Jared Leto, I think, all bring something different to the table when portraying the Joker. Um, so, yeah, I really like the way he looks. He's jumping in this fat of, like, acid. I think he's, like, carrying uh, Harley Quinn or, like, baptizing her or something in this acid. That's really, really messed up. Um, and, like, you see the makeup kind of just, like, I, that was a re again beautiful, beautiful shots. I, I like to know who the cinematographer is on this film, or if David Ayer was in charge of these shots because they look great. Um, this whole trailer looks great. I can keep rambling on, but I don't want to talk too much about it. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. But I love this trailer. It is probably one of my favorite trailers in a long time, and I am really looking forward to this film. I cannot wait. It's going to be like the icing on top of a great summer film slate. Um, it comes out in August, kind of like the end of summer, so that's why I say that. Um, comment below. Tell me what you think about this trailer. Do you disagree with me? Do you hate it? Tell me why. Explain to me what are your, you know, nitpick it for me. Go ahead. I, I want to know what people can find and what they disagree about, and that's going to be really interesting talking about in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed, yeah, thumbs up if you enjoyed uh, anything that I had to talk about. Subscribing, you know, I'm just starting. Helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Until next time, I will see you guys later.